tattoos are permanent. I remember years ago, just before my grandmother passed, I decided to go and see her because I knew she was going. So some of us, in um, three, three of us here, we went to see her. And she was showing me the tattoos she made on her body. She was 104 when she passed. So the tattoos, she said she made those tattoos before she got married. In their own days, you know all those designs that they'll make on the, the bodies. On, in their days, she, she said those were the ways they'll beautify themselves. So that when they are walking, the young men will see them. And those things will attract the young men. After over 80 years, those tattoos were still there. They were very clear. You could see the image. You could see what it was. Soap had not removed it. Sponge had not removed it. There was nothing she used on her body that removed it. It was a permanent thing. And I remember looking at it that day, and what was going through my mind was that if God has tattooed, if natural tattoo can remain 80 years, it's not removable. What's more of God's kind of tattoo? It means that there is nothing about you that will ever be wiped out from God's memory. There is no time God will think about you that he'll say, mm, I've forgotten my child. Because your name is there. Your name is there. How old are you? God has not forgotten you. How old has your issue been? God has not forgotten you. How old have your circumstances been? God has you on his mind. He'll never forget you. He'll never forsake you. And he'll cause everything you have trusted him for to come to you at the right time in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Natural tattoo. Over 80 years, it didn't disappear. It didn't disappear. But it was a thing. You know, and she was like, she just felt because I specifically asked, I want to see, I want a picture of it. I want a picture of it to remind myself that the tattoo of my name on God's, thing, on God's hand will never be closed. It will never be wiped off. That means anytime I call God, instantly he hears. Instant he has an answer. He has a provision he has made. And that provision will locate you. Hallelujah. That's why God said a nursing, a nursing mother might forget. She might forget the compassion for her child. She might forget the labor pains. She might forget what it took her to produce those children. But God himself will never forget you and I. That's why God said that. That he'll never forget you and I. He now goes ahead to say, Behold, I have graven you upon the palms of my hand. I have tattooed you upon the palms of my hand. I have tattooed you upon the palms of my hands and your walls are continually before me. Our walls continually being before God means that anytime he raises up his hand, he sees your name. Anytime he raises up his hand, he sees your need. Anytime he, you raise up your hand, he sees your prayer request. And he knows that you are concerned about those things. He has it on his mind every time. He has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten you. He remembers you as his child. He remembers you as the only one that he cares about. Even though there are a million people on the face of the earth, you are unique and you are special before your Father in heaven. And that's why he will never forget to answer you or meet you at the point of your needs in the name of Jesus.